Hello everyone, it's Margaret Martin here with your Mindful Monday. <clears throat> and it's the last week of September. We've been falling in all month long. <clears throat> I got my house more decorated with fall with some leaves and pumpkins and and artificial pumpkins and things like that. And so I hope you're getting into the spirit of fall as well. How did you do with our theme last week, Fall in Peace? Boy, it was a week we needed more peace, wasn't it? <clears throat> Hopefully you'll continue with being peaceful along the way. It has to start from within. So the more we can do to calm our minds, our bodies, the better we will and our souls, the more peaceful we can certainly be. So I hope you'll continue that process. And today we're going to focus on fall in grace. And I thank you to those who check in and, and watch live. I can't always see who it is. So please bear with me while I uh, at least acknowledge that I can see that you're there. And I appreciate that. <clears throat> today, this week's theme is fall in grace. Yeah. And so grace, the definition is commonly um, refers to a smooth and pleasing way of moving. I gotta put my glasses on. Or a polite and thoughtful way of behaving. So it says that the definition says the related word gracious originally meant filled with God's favor or help. Grace was also borrowed from Old French, from Latin gratia, pleasing, quality, favor, thanks. So <clears throat> those are the definitions commonly used for grace. How can you be graceful? You know, they speak of people walking gracefully or acting gracefully. There's, as we said, that way of moving. I'm not going to get into the religious or more spiritual definitions, but how can you exhibit grace? And so in doing my research, I came across a couple of things to think about. One of the ways of being graceful is with your words. You know that chatter that matters <laughs> it always comes back to that doesn't it the chatter that matters or your words being kind with your words and gentle so think about that as you're moving through this week and working with people or connecting with people and especially on social media let's see if we can be more graceful on social media. Another de uh, <clears throat> way <clears throat> is to look for the needs and opportunities to help others. You know, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we focused on some of that last uh, a month or so ago with kindness. <coughs> My apology. And so look for opportunities about where you can be kind and be helpful to others. And even if you're still staying at home, there are ways to do that. There are a lot of virtual fundraisers going on or donations uh, in various ways to various nonprofits and and areas that may, may make a strong connection for your heart. So see where you can help make a difference and be graceful in that letting go sometimes the best graceful most graceful thing you can do is let go let go of the need to be right let go of the need to uh, control things let go of old habits that don't bring good things into your life that don't bring you joy that don't help you live a better life so letting go actually is one of the easiest ways to exude grace. You know, letting go of the need to respond. 
and man did I certainly did a lot of graceful letting go last week in social media as there was a lot that I wanted to <clears throat> talk about but I decided I was taking a step back and just not doing it another way of being graceful is to be there people are going through challenging times just this month I personally know three people who have died and if we can just be there for them their families their friends and just listen and just let them know you're going to be there for them that can make such a difference in, for them. They may not have much to say. Don't ask questions. Just let them know. I'm here for you. Let me know. Forgive is another way of being graceful. Wow. And you know what? I think the most important person to forgive is yourself. We give ourselves such a hard time about the things we should do or could do, need to do. And it's all perspective. But for the most part, I know you're doing the best you can. I know I am. Yes, there are times I could improve, but also I need that self-care. So forgive myself for not being more productive on a weekend and taking that long afternoon nap that was really so needed. So forgive yourself for the big things and the small things and forgive others. It's not making them right or seeing what they did was right, but you let go of dragging that stuff along with you when you can take the time to forgive. That's a, that is definitely a way of exhibiting grace. And another way of exhibiting grace is gratitude. Journal of gratitude right there. I practice it almost every night. I'll write down three to five things, sometimes 10 or 15, whatever the day might come up. And just times I want to feel extra grateful for sleeping in a comfortable bed this weekend, I got to feel grateful for air conditioning because my air conditioner went out on Friday and I was able to get the air conditioner guy he came at six o'clock in the evening because he said, I don't want to leave you without air. And it wasn't that expensive, one simple part, thankfully. So realizing how we are so conditioned in Florida especially we're still hot and humid here so air conditioning is definitely on that gratitude list electricity that can make that air conditioner run is definitely on that air, on that list so uh, and thank you for popping in who and watching this live let me know that you're here and uh, appreciate your being here so think of the other ways in which you can be graceful this week or handle things with grace. It's, it's just that offering yourself the opportunity to not always be in control, be in charge, and say things in hurtful ways. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts on, on our topics, and just giving you a little bit of a heads up about next month. I'm going to take it into a little bit different approach next month, so in October. So hopefully you'll join me along uh, the way. And always remember that I'm here should you just want someone to listen briefly, I'm here. Refer your friends. Be there for them. You never know what they're going through. So thanks again. I appreciate you so much for watching and continuing to give me uh, positive comments. That's what keeps me going on the Mindful Monday path. And have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next week and in points in between.
Bye now.